Google Next in Las Vegas has just concluded and everyone is talking about Gemini 1.5 Pro which is at par with GPT-4 and there is no doubt about that. Google is coming back with vengeance. But to be fair, GPT Turbo, the GPT-4 Turbo is even better than Gemini 1.5 Pro but I believe that now this race is neck to neck and this is really good to see that there is not uh, just one player out there in the market but not only OpenAI is being challenged by Google's Gemini but also by the Anthropics Cloud 3. So it is really good and then we can already see that Mistral's model, the Llama which is uh, around the corner now, the Llama 3. I think this thing is going to be very exciting and very interesting and there will be no monopoly so this is what i'm really happy about anyway coming back to google's next gemini 1.5 pro one of the best thing about this model is that this is multi-modal intrusion so just in one front you can talk with text audio video json format and then the function calling is also quite nice google's vertex ai which is a platform from google cloud for you to do all things AI in one location is really improving a lot and Google's next conference is full of it. But for me, there were this 1.5 Pro, uh, which is a multimodal model, was a salient feature out of it, especially when it comes to its multimodal features plus function calling. And then there was one more thing which I really liked about it, and it was around distillation. So, at a very high level in easy language, distillation means that you pick up model from google cloud and then you just train that model on your own data set just keep everything short and small so you don't have to do a full fine tuning you don't have to um, pick the whole model you just sort of do the adapter thing and it just distills everything down to your own use case so that is quite a good feature unfortunately that is quite expensive and in my personal account i don't have that option to do it but as soon as I get access to any resources, I might make a video on it. But anyway, other than that, I think a pretty good model. So let me show you um, in my personal account as what exactly this Vertex AI looks like. So if you don't have it already, just create a free account on Google's Cloud GCP. Uh, for that, you would need to go to cloud.google.com. And then once you are there, go to Vertex AI, just search for the service Vertex AI. And then in the vertex AI on the left hand side, just click on multimodal. Once you'll click on multimodal, you'll be asked that okay, whether you want to do single chat or multiple chat. Just go with uh, any of you like. I am just on single chat. And once you click there, you will be presented with this screen. And on the top right, you can see I already have selected this Gemini 1.5 Pro, which is still in pre public preview. And my region is Sydney region where I am. And then on the right hand side you can select a lot of other things like uh, how much creative you want your response to be and then what should be the output token limit i would al always ask you to reduce it because it might um, cost a bit more and then you can select your safety setting that you want to allow hate speech how much you want to block some or block more depends upon your use case and all the uh, harassment or all those content whatever you want to do and then in the advanced you can select a lot of other hyper parameters like top p top k which primarily suggests that how the model selects token for output and you can read further detail by just hovering on top of it now coming back to this uh, window now you can here see that you can insert media so for example you just click here you upload from your computer so for example i am just going to upload this outback and then you can type your uh, command here like what is this image and it is going to give you the response and it is also telling you how much tokens are being used because a prompt is uh, broken up into tokens also uh, this might take a bit of a time the first time you run it anyway so this is one way of doing it but in this video i am going to show you how you can do it through your code locally which is more sort of powerful so we'll be using the same thing we'll be giving it an image and then a text prompt and then we will ask it to give us the response back so let me take you to my local system where i have vs code 
So you can see that this is my VS code studio where I have already written the code. Before I run you through the code, the first thing you need to do is there are two things. First, make sure that you install this library locally with pip. So of course you would need to have Python and pip installed. And then in order to access this model and vertex AI, you would need to install Google dash cloud dash AI platform. Even you have it installed, make sure that you upgrade it because you can only access this model through the upgraded uh, API and module. So once you have it also make sure that you have configured access to your Google cloud project because in Google cloud, everything is arranged in the project. So whatever your project is, make sure that you have given it the access and you have logged in there. So, so I will presume that you're already logged into your project and you have already installed this API. Now let's walk, uh, let, let me walk you through the code. Now in this code, what is happening is that we are importing some of the libraries, then we are specifying this vertex AI and the generative model. And then this, the image I'm going to use is outback.png. And then I am calling Gemini 1.5 pro preview in this generative model API. And then I'm asking the prompt what is in this image. And then similarly, the way I have I showed you in the console, I'm giving it some of the hyper parameters like top P, top K to control the output and also the temperature to see uh, how creative I want the model to be and then how many tokens I want. And then you can put the stream true or not up to you. And then I'm just printing the response and in the main function I'm calling, calling that generate function. So before I run this, let me also show you the image and then I will show you the output. And by the image, I mean this outback.png. By the way, outback is the area in Australia, which is just in the middle vast area. And I'm based in Australia, so it's a beautiful place, by the way, uh, outback. So it's all desert and sparsely populated. Anyway, let me show you quickly the image which I'm going, which I'm using here. So this is the image I'm using. And th in this image, this is outback where evening is happening. There are birds on the top, there is a tree, sun is setting, and then there are the kangaroos in the wild. So let's see, let's go back to VS code and run my, um, that code to see if model is able to detect this. So let me call my Python. See where I am. So this is my code. So let me quickly run it. And there you go. The image, uh, the model has returned the output. It is saying that image shows a dirt road in the Australian net outback. The road is surrounded by dry grass and shrub, and there are trees in the background. The sky is blue, and there are clouds. So I don't think so. It really captures the whole spirit of the image. Um, because it has missed the kangaroos, it has missed the sun, and I don't see any road there. So anyway, same response I got from, uh, by the way, from the console too. So I think uh, this could improve too. But other than that, I believe that uh, the text-oriented things are pretty nice. It is also able to detect the text in the image as far as my testing is concerned. But so far for this image, I would say it's a fail. So, but that's it guys. Let me know your thoughts. If you have used it, you can use this code, which I have put it in there and try it out. Maybe you will get it right. Just play around with some of the parameters, but I don't think so. Parameters are good by default. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.